my lovelies it's a lore but you can call me Laura Lee and welcome back to my YouTube channel so today I am a professional procrastinator because as you can see I have this canvas behind me and it needs to get filled by tomorrow at 11 59 and I only have today and then tomorrow from 2 to like 8 I have obligations so we need to get this done anything you could do I could do better I can do any I can I can do any I can I can do anything better than you You know You know The prompt for this painting was basically to create a community or neighborhood that resonates with you I started with a sketch but it wasn't anything too crazy just the basic layout For the prompt, I decided to draw my home and all the people on my mom's side of the family that I associated with my home. Okay, sketching's done, so now it's time to paint, almost. It was a fun piece to paint, albeit a bit rushed. I spent my first day mainly getting the foundation down and I was struggling with colors just because my home is a bit of a bluish gray and I wanted that to ring true without being too dull. I'm also just bad at color mixing, but that's another story. I realized when I was painting that the entire painting is going to use a lot of blue, but it's also just my neighborhood's really blue. Anyways, I grew up in this house and I have so many memories there. It's very nostalgic and comforting. There's so much love there to this day and this painting was just a manifestation of that. I think that's the reason why I wasn't too pressed about getting this painting done for the contest. It was more of a way of displaying my love for my family if anything. I ended up taking a food break and falling asleep on the couch, and that was the end of day one. Good morning, today I have a pop-up shop, so we're getting ready for that. I started the second day with making a few bracelets for my pop-up shop at the Howard Basketball Games. I ended up selling the new ones I made, so that was good. My friend Emily came to help me, love her down. I also got interviewed twice, and I was not ready for that. <laughs> I did all right. Here's Emily, and hey. we're walking home to the metro station right now. And then I have to go finish my painting before 11:59. And good thing I don't have to do much other than that. Now it's time to go home and paint. After getting home from my pop-up, I really went in on the people. This painting shows my dad, my mom, two brothers, two of my grandmothers my grandpa and my seven cousins all together, as well as myself in the window later. I think after this I want to do a series showcasing different aspects of my community and just the people I love. My next idea is starting with my grandma's house on my dad's side, but we'll see how it all plays out. This semester is about to be busy, so it's just a if I get time type of thing. Anyways, as the clock started winding down, I forgot to record, so we'll skip to the finished product. Next time, I promise I'll make sure I'm sane enough to get the full process on video. Anyways, toodles! Okay, so here is the final painting. Um, it's not exactly where I wanted it to be when I was going to be finished, but I'm happy with the feel it gives me. Um, it's not fully rendered, I think that's my biggest problem, like I would have liked to clean up some of it, but I also kind of like the messy look, and it's also my fault for procrastinating, but this is what I submitted, um, and I'm happy with it, I'm happy with what I was able to get done. That was my painting and small business mini vlog for the week. Please like and subscribe, and thank you so much for watching the second episode of my final semester. See you next week. Bye! Hello my lovelies, come on in.